Once you finally understand this, you will shift into your desired reality. Check out these words from Neville Goddard. Neville says that whatever you're beholding in your mind's eye, you will produce in your outer world. Simple as that. So what is beholding? Beholding is what you're seeing, what you're being aware of, where you're placing your attention. On things on the outside? Nope. In your mind's eye. In other words, what you're imagining. Because your world's a mirror, right? It's just a reflection of what's going on inside. As within, so without. Which means that you can take all the action in the world. Like working your ass off to try to get out of poverty. Or exercising like crazy to try to lose more weight. Or going on a bunch of dating apps and visiting bars to try to find love and so on. But if you don't change your inner world first, what you're imagining, guess what? Nothing's going to stink and change, straight up. No matter how hard you try, trust me, it'll be a constant struggle. You might say, but Josh, I do imagine what I want every single day. I visualize health and wealth every single morning for like an hour, but I'm still broken sick. So what's up with that? And my response is, what are you imagining the rest of the 17 plus hours you're awake? In other words, what are you imagining most of the time? Not just for an hour, but all throughout the day, morning, noon, and night. Because that reveals the state of consciousness you're really in. You know what I'm saying? That's your natural dwelling place. So if you're imagining the opposite of what you want most of the time, yo, don't be surprised that things are the way they are. Because imagining creates reality. You better believe it. So from now on, try to be more aware of what you're doing on the inside. Okay? What you're imagining, what you're telling yourself. And if it's kind of hard for you in the beginning, don't worry. It gets easier with practice. That's a fact. So keep at it. And this leads to the next point, which is important. So how many times you got to imagine what you want? Here's the answer. And this is a game changer. So listen up. Ready? Until you're self-persuaded. Self-persuaded of what? That it's true. That what you want is yours. Even if reason and your senses deny it. You see, that's where people trip up. They imagine for a bit, but not to the point of being self-persuaded. And then they're like, this doesn't work. And how do you know when you're truly persuaded? Simple. You'll see the world differently. You won't see things the same way. I mean, how could you? You've shifted into a different state of consciousness, right? So here's a true test, Neville says. You'll act upon it. You'll act upon it. He says that if you really believe, you couldn't restrain the impulse to act. You just couldn't. You'll interact with people differently. Friends, family, coworkers, from that assumption. So action tests belief. So there you go. Know what you want and forget about what's going on in the 3D on the outside. What's important is what's happening on the inside, within you. That's what matters. Forget influence. Forget about trying to persuade and change other people. If imagining creates reality, then you don't got to force anything to happen. You just imagine the end. You want to be healthy? Okay. Then behold yourself as healthy. You want more money? Don't look at your bank account. You might get depressed. But see the money within you. Claim it as yours. Feel yourself into it. But don't stop there. Just keep doing it all throughout the day, as much as possible. And just watch. To the degree that you're self-persuaded, that things are as you desire them to be, then you'll become it. And the world will call it real. Because you get what you believe. Yeah. All right, if you appreciate this video, hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to help support my channel. And if you're ready to live the life you really want, then yo, click the link below to learn more about Law of Assumption Mastery, how to manifest anything the Neville Goddard way. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.